Uh, my fondest memory of the big fella Mick, uh, we spent a lot of time together as uh, working together at Rothmans and uh, we were in the Winfield team and um, during the, uh, the mid 80s and we had to, uh, our job was to go and rip down the opposition's point of sale. So uh, Mick and I would go into the retail shops, it could be the corner uh, IGA store or the corner um, fruit and veggie shop or whatever. And if we saw any of the opposition material on the windows, well, it was our job to, uh, to pay the retailer to rip it down and put our gear up. So it was a pretty intimidating times for the old retailer, a poor little Chinese guy, a little lebo behind the, uh, behind the counter and the big, uh, the big Mick and I walk in and say, listen, old China, we, um, oh, pardon that, uh, the old, old mate, we, um, we're from uh, Rothmans or Winfield and uh, we're here to, um, to paint your window and uh, you know for your troubles we'll give you a couple of cartons of cigarettes and uh, I think our, um, our team leader at the time was a guy called Barry Tubman he was very impressed with our figures because Mick and I basically when we worked together we got a hundred percent strike rate from the retailers so uh, had some great times together we, we used to be on the road quite a bit go up to North Queensland and they were, they were big times we used to uh, work hard during the day and uh, we did some uh, awfully hard yards during the night and the next morning, I can assure you, because the big fella took a lot of filling up and uh, he wouldn't let you go home. You had to stay there with him. And uh, he was just such a gentle gentleman. Uh, I've never heard him say too many bad words about anyone at all. And he became a, um, a Wynnum Manly supporter when he first came to Brisbane because he lobbed in Brisbane in 1981 and that's when Wynnum uh, basically started its run throughout the 80s and I just happened to be a member of that team and then three or four years later we were working together so uh, we used to, uh, used to have some good times and I've been to a couple of training sessions with him and uh, helped his, uh, the, the AFL tackling side of things and he's always given me some advice so uh, we, had a, we had a fantastic relationship and uh, to Nettie and the boys and the family uh, my deepest sympathies and uh, you'll be missed big fella.